Welcome back, everyone. Deb Seal Scott back with us today. She is the Van Wert County Humane Society Board President. We're getting you an update on that uh, new facility that's going in there on Fox Road. You know, I hadn't been by there in a while, Deb, and I and I w went down there and I'm like, holy cow, that's an actual building and a facility now. It's uh, You're only a few weeks away from moving in, right? We're pretty excited over here because our animals will probably move in in about six weeks. Okay. Wow. You're close. Take me back. We did uh, months and months ago, we, we, when you guys were first starting the campaign and you had this fundraising goal and it was ambitious, obviously, but at the time, I know you were very confident about it and it all came together and, and folks supported you very well. They really did. In spite of COVID, which um, could, could have put a big damper on our campaign, but we decided to move ahead with it. And uh, also the supply chain shortages have not really affected our construction. It's gone, the construction has gone really well out there. Um, we're pretty much on schedule to wh where we thought we'd be. And the public, our community leaders, our business leaders have just shown so much support and we're just so appreciative. It was just great seeing that, you know, every once in a while there would be a check presentation from a local business or an individual and they, and they helped out. I think back to the, the current facility, which is on the north end, uh, even back when I was a kid, I think we got a couple, adopted a couple of dogs from here. So it does go back a ways. Compare the, what, what you'll have now to, to the old facility. Okay. Well, basically where we're at right now, everybody's just in one big room, cats in one side, dogs are in there. We got a couple quarantine areas that aren't really partitioned off. Um, and our, we don't really have a, an adequate air exchange. So in the new facility, the cats will have their separate area. Dogs will have uh, their kennel area with outside runs, which we don't currently have. Uh, we'll have uh, a medical exam room which we don't really have now. Everything is just kind of done in the front office. So uh, it basically will have everything that our old building does not have. <laughs> um, really efficient. Um, it's going to be cleaner, safer for the animals, our volunteers, our staff. Yeah, one of the, uh, our reporter was out there this week and you did nice enough to do an interview with him and he was talking about this area where cats can actually not technically go outside, but they have the air around them. Talk, talk a little bit about that. Well, for the cats, we will have a healthy cat area. We'll have the quarantine and then we'll have what is called a free roam cat room that the kitties that get along with each other uh, will be able to just kind of live in this room and there'll be things to climb and things to go in and under. And uh, so that's a nice addition for the cats. Uh, the other thing, we will have an outdoor screened in area that during nice weather, they can go out and enjoy the fresh air, just like our dogs with their outside runs. You know, so, and it's a pretty, pretty big area and should have, you know, a lot of fun things for the cats. Yeah, it really should. You know, the other thing uh, we were talking about too, is you guys are right across from the fairgrounds. I guess if you're gonna walk a dog, you're gonna have plenty of room out there too, right? Well, we actually purchased that lot from the fair board. So we, we really appreciate, you know, their cooperation and their involvement in our project. And you're right. I mean, we look across the road there and see that big grassy area. There's a little pond back in there. Of course, we want to clear this with with the fair, fair board. And uh, but uh, it's a great place to to walk the dogs, get them outside. What kind of feedback are you getting from folks? Like I said, the, the building, it, it, you're getting the finishing touches on now. It looks great. What kind of feedback are you getting from the public so far? The public has just been absolutely marvelous. We're, we just uh, feel so indebted to them. Um, we will have an open house for the public. We're looking at June for, for that. We want to open our doors up and invite people in to see what they have contributed to. We will also have a separate open house for our donors, for our VIP members. Um, but we we actually raised seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars that was uh that will cover the construction costs which did increase um but that will also allow some extra funds to just buy some supplies and different things that we need in the building we we have hobbled along with old stuff we're not used to getting anything new <laughs> down down there so um we're we're gonna leave some things behind and just hopefully get new <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. It's much deserved and, and it's exciting to see it uh, getting near completion. Deb, thank you so much for the update. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jeff. You bet. Nice chatting with you. We'll be back right after this.